Next tonight, an elderly disabled man in Edmonton says he's been left too scared to use the car he relies on because he keeps getting ULES fines despite being granted an exemption. Frankie McDonald raised the issue with the mayor's office after attempts to contact TfL failed, but the only support offered to him was a web link to a mental health charity. With the penalty charges reaching close to £1,000, Frankie has accused TfL of failing Londoners. Our political correspondent Simon Harris has been to meet him. Frankie McDonald's classic Mini Cooper is his pride and joy, but driving it around Edmonton, where he lives, has cost him five ULES fines in five days. Frankie, a retired nurse, is recovering from a broken back and is registered disabled. Yet Transport for London's ULES software didn't recognise his blue badge exemption. It's terrifying because the charges are £180 per penalty charge notice, or £90 if you pay it within 14 days. Well. As an elderly gentleman living on as an old age pensioner, and I don't have the money to pay London Transport all these penalty charge notices that shouldn't have been applied because I've got a letter saying that I'm exempt. Frankie says he contacted Transport for London, but as we spoke to him, another two penalty charge notices fell through his letterbox. Penalty charge notice from London Transport, TfL. And it's just unnecessary stress that TfL have put me through, when clearly I've got a letter stating that I am ULES exempt. When Frankie emailed the mayor to complain, a City Hall official suggested he contact a mental health charity, saying, if you feel like you need to talk to someone about your situation, you can get in touch with MIND, who can provide support and advice. What do you think of that? Disgraceful, absolutely thoroughly disgusting and disgraceful that I made a letter of complaint about the way TfL is handling me as an individual and then to be told that, you know, you need to refer yourself to the mental health charity called MIND. Is something going wrong with the management of ULES? Well, look, the great news about the, uh, the, the ULES expansion is now uh, more than 90 out of 20 cars are compliant, unapologised uh, to this person for the inconvenience he's been caused, for the anxiety and stress he's been caused. I'll go and look at his individual uh, case. The good news is 95% of vehicles are now uh, are compliant. I would say to the Mayor of London, please get your act together when it comes to TfL. TfL's ULES checker was still showing Frankie's Mini liable for the £12.50 charge. He has no doubt that the next post will deliver another fine. Simon, what are the chances of this getting sorted out for Frankie then? Well, you heard Sadiq Khan there apologise to Frankie McDonald and say he would look into it. Well, clearly he put some wheels in motion because a few minutes ago Transport for London contacted us to admit it had failed to register his car properly as ULES exempt. Uh, it it apologised for the distress it caused, it's cancelled the fines and is looking into how this happened. But you do wonder just how many other Londoners have been affected in the same way. Yeah, the power of getting you round. Thank you, Simon.